In this lesson, I'm going to show you how you can, first of all, upload a Word doc, transfer it to a Google doc, and then embed that Google doc into an ePortfolio. So this is a copy of my resume. Notice that I've taken out all personal information, such as where I live, such as my phone number. Because this is going online, I really don't want to put that information on here. But I do need to know, I'm going to save this, I'm going to save it to the desktop. And then I am going to exit out. Then I need to go into Documents, Google Docs. And I am going to upload this doc and transfer it to a Google Doc. So I'm going to show you this. So I'm going to go Upload File. I need to go into Desktop. And I need to find my resume. I'm going to go ahead and click Open. And then what you have some settings you have to uh, select. This one says convert docs, presentations, spreadsheets, drawings to the corresponding Google Doc. So it will recognize that this is a Word, Microsoft Word file, and it will convert it to an editable Google Doc uh, file or document. You can also try to convert the text from a PDF, which are usually flat, you can't edit them. Um, but this isn't a PDF. And then it says convert settings before each upload. So I'm going to leave this as default. And I'm going to go click upload. Notice here it just says, okay, uh, here is your document. It put it into my home docs page. And once I click on that, it now is a document that could essentially be edited um, within Google Docs. Now why would I do this? Why would I go from a Word doc to a Google Doc? One of the things that I like about Google Docs and using Google Docs is as I expand my experience, if I get a new job, if I um, do something new, as soon as I uh, as soon as I change the information on my Google Doc, Okay, so what would happen is if I had this doc embedded in my ePortfolio, I just created a change here, it would automatically show up there. Previously, you would have had to re-upload your Word doc every time you change it, every time, but this keeps it live and synchronous. All right, so I have, have my resume. The next thing I need to do is change the privacy controls. And to do that, I just click up here and I click on private to only me. Now, depending on the age of the students, you would have to decide, is this a document that needs to be more private? If so, they would just add you to the, uh, to the, to the doc so that you could provide comments and feedback or whatever. Um, however, if this is something that you know, wants to be showcased and you want the world to see without having to have special privileges to the document or to the site, that is where you would change this from private to public on the web. 
anyone with the link will work too, but I'm just going to um, use public on the web. I also do not want anybody to be able to change my uh, resume, so I'm not going to select that. Click Save. All right. So right now, I've uploaded a doc. I've changed the permissions of the doc. And I'm going to delete that because I don't need to share it. All right. Now I want to go into my Google site. And I'm going to go ahead and create a page. Oh, wait, I think I already did this. I created a page called My Resume. Here it is. Okay, so right now I have a page called My Resume, which I created. I'm just going to go ahead and edit the page. I'm going to go to Insert Document. And the nice thing is, is this will show you all of the docs, all of your presentations, all of your spreadsheets, um, but you can select the doc right from Google Apps. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to select this one. I am going to change the title and then save it. You can't see what it looks like until you click up here and go save. So, traditionally, you may have uploaded a Word doc. Somebody would have to click on the document, download the document, um, and then you would also have to re-upload every time your resume changed. Using Google Docs, you don't have to do that. So this uh, is what um, I prefer, and hopefully you will use the same feature. Pay attention to the permissions, and I think everything will work out fine for you.